Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool call out that came from questions that arose on social media. After I put up a video of making a can of beans for Amber Ruffin to hold up her couch, um, a lot of you were asking me about my safety glasses that I was using in that video. And I'm glad you did, because they're really cool. But to go back to the beginning of safety glasses, they're something every shop has to have. You should be using them, and I know I get some crap from you guys for not using them at times that I should. Uh, and one of the issues I have frequently with them is that as a glasses wearer, it's very, it's, it's, it's difficult to get safety glasses that are, that will either hold onto my head in a way that where I can actually see stuff or that don't make me super sweaty. And then if the phone rings, I got to take this off. My glasses are, it's a whole thing. For glasses wearers, safety gear can be a real issue. Um, but a few years ago, I was watching the first season of Westworld and I noticed that the technicians that, are, that work on the robots have these beautiful full face shields. And I thought, there's no way that the prop department made that. Because I know from being, having been a props guy that to make big clear visors is a humongous pain in the ass for a prop department and they won't do it if they don't have to. So I concluded it had to be an off the shelf item. I went hunting online and found it. Now the face mask is an expensive bit of kit and it's not really that necessary, but the glasses version of that self same bit of safety eyewear is phenomenal. This is what I was wearing when I was making that can for Amber. And here's a couple of the reasons I love it. One, it's got this great bridge, which is quite structural and allows me to actually still have my glasses on and it doesn't try and compete with them, it works with them. Uh, secondarily, when I use safety glasses, I often wanna pull my glasses off because I see very clearly up close. What these glasses do is give me every possible angle of being able to see up close. I don't have to adjust my head to the goggles. The goggles are already adjusted to my head. The maker is Ray Gear, uh, and they come with this uh, handy elastic in the back so you can sling them down like this. Look, they're just fabulous. There's a link on where you can get these, and I warn you, they're not inexpensive, but as far as lightweightness and as being a glasses wearer, these are my favorite safety goggles I've ever found. I know, I know. You're probably wondering what's up with the Phillips wood screw in there. That's because I accidentally dropped these and cracked that, uh, and I put a little wood screw in there to provide the structure from the front to the back. It works just fine, but the break is my fault.